Okay, so we're going to work on the mirror lock. Uh, the mirror lock uh, is real strong lock, and you often get it from a failed attempt at getting a wizard. So I'm going to go for my wizard, and as I go for my wizard on Josh, I like go through and I go to slip it through, but Josh starts to slip his arm past this position here, so it comes up, and I'm about to lose the wizard in this position. From here, I'm going to take my arm and I try and drive my arm and get it as close to the elbow as possible. So I'm here like this and I drive it down towards the elbow. Now that I'm here, I'm going to start to rotate Josh's arm, but at the same time lift it up. So I pull through and I rotate and I lift in that position. If I just rotate like this, it gives Josh an opportunity to follow my direction. But if I rotate and pull towards me at the same time, he can't really follow that direction, and the submission comes on. So, I'll do it from the other side. I'm here like this, I sit up and I go for my wizard. As I go for the wizard, Josh goes to slip his arm out, and I catch his arm just before it does. I'm in this position, and I rotate his arm to the side so that it comes through to here. This top hand, I pull it through and it comes close to the elbow. The closer I get to the elbow, the better. And I lift forward and out to finish the submission. One more time from the other side. I sit up and I go for my wizard, but I lose the wizard. As I start to lose it, I get to this position, Josh goes to pull out. For this to work, Josh kind of has to make a little mistake. The mistake that he has to make is that he doesn't dead arm as he does his wizard. So he goes to push out and the arm stiffens and it gives me an opportunity to roll the elbow out in this direction. Once I get here, my arm comes back in, lock my hands together and just pull towards my body. 